The next step in R and introduction and setting up is about something called R Studio. Now, this is R Studio, and what it is is a piece of software that you can download in addition to R, which you've already installed. And its purpose is really simple. It makes working with R easier. Now, there's a few different ways that it does this. Number one is it has consistent commands. What's funny is the different operating systems have slightly different keyboard commands for the same operations in R. R Studio fixes that and it makes it the same whether you're on Mac, Windows, or Linux. Also, there's a unified interface. Instead of having two, three, or 17 windows open, you have one window with the information organized. And it also makes it really easy to navigate with the keyboards and to manage the information that you have in R. And let me show you how to do this, but first we have to install it. What you're going to need to do is go to R Studio's website, which is at rstudio.com. From there, click on Download R Studio. Then it'll bring you to this page or something like it. And you're going to want to choose the desktop version. Now, when you get there, you're going to want to download the free sort of community version as opposed to the $1,000 a year version. And so click here on the left. And then you're going to come to the list of installers for supported platforms It's down here on the left. This is where you get to choose your operating system. Click the top one if you have Windows, the next one if you have Mac, and then we have lots of different versions of Linux. Whichever one you get, click on it, download it, and go through the standard installation process, then open it up. And then let me show you what it's like working in R Studio. To do this, open up this file and we'll see what it's like in R Studio. When you open up R Studio, you get this one window that has several different panes in it. At the top, we have the script or the source window, and this is where you do your actual programming. And you'll see that it looks really similar to what we did when I opened up the R application. The coloring's a little different, but that's something that you can change in preferences or options. The console is down here at the bottom, and that's where you get the text output. Over here is the environment that saves the variables if you're using any, and then plots and other information show up here in the bottom right. Now you have the option of rearranging things and changing what's there as much as you want. R Studio is a flexible environment and you can resize things by simply dragging the divider between the areas. So let me show you a quick example using the exact same code that I did in my previous example so you can see how it works in R Studio as opposed to the regular R app that we used first time. First, I'm gonna load some data. That's by using the datasets package. I'm going to do a command or control and enter to load that one. And you can see right here, it's run the command. And then I'm going to do the quick summary of data. I'm going to do head iris shows the first six lines. And then here it is down here. I can make that a little bit bigger if I want. Then I can do a summary by just coming back here and clicking command or control enter. And actually, I'm going to do a keyboard command to make the console bigger now. And then we can see all of that. I have the same basic descriptive statistics and the same frequencies there. I'm going to go back to how it was before and make this, bring this one down a little. And now we can do the plot. Now this time you see it shows up in this window here on the side, which is nice. It's not a standalone window. Let me make that one bigger. It takes a moment to adjust. And there we have the same information that we had in the R app, but here it's more organized in a cohesive environment. And you see that I'm using keyboard shortcuts to move around and it makes life really easy for dealing with the information that I have in R. I'm gonna do the same cleanup. I'm going to detach the package that I had. This is actually a little command to clear the plots. And then here in R Studio, I can run a funny little command that'll do the same as doing control L to clear the console for me. And that is a quick run through of how you can do some very basic coding in R Studio, again, which makes working with R more organized, more efficient, and easier to do overall.